New developments in the confirmation battle over President Donald Trump's nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court. Among them, a former Yale classmate of Brett Kavanaugh is accusing him of not telling the full story to senators. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan has details of that and much more. Dave. Yeah, and the closer we get to the end of this FBI and very short FBI investigation, I think the tenser things are going to be getting. We saw some of that today. It's the latest twist in the Kavanaugh nomination controversy. And in this case, a former classmate of Kavanaugh said he feels that Kavanaugh wasn't telling the full truth about his drinking and the impact it had on his behavior. And President Trump weighed in again tonight as well at a political rally. A Democrat takeover of Congress will plunge our country into gridlock and chaos. At a midterm campaign rally in Tennessee Monday night, President Trump charged the Democrats are doing a hatchet job on Judge Brett Kavanaugh, his nominee for the Supreme Court. They're trying to destroy a very fine person, and we can't let it happen. The president then charging the Democrats are continuing their delay and destroy approach to Kavanaugh's nomination. Democrats are willing to do anything and to hurt anyone to get their way, like they're doing with Judge Kavanaugh. Even as the FBI investigation of the sexual assault allegations against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh is in full swing, a former classmate of Kavanaugh's made a public statement this evening questioning whether Kavanaugh has been fully truthful about his drinking habits and the impact of that. North Carolina State University professor Chad Luddington was a Yale University classmate and drinking buddy of Kavanaugh's. I can unequivocally say that in denying the possibility that he ever blacked out from drinking and in downplaying the degree and frequency of his drinking, Brett has not told the truth. There were certainly many times when he could not remember what was going on. Ludington says the FBI contacted him Monday morning and he outlined his information for them in more detail. New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez told CNN Ludington's comments could be damaging to Kavanaugh. It goes to his honesty before the committee. And if, in fact, he was an excessive drinker to the point that he says he would fall asleep but not black out, but maybe he blacked out, and maybe some of these incidences are true. And despite his comments at the Tennessee rally tonight, President Trump on Monday authorized the FBI to expand its investigation of the sexual misconduct allegations against Kavanaugh and interview anyone it wants to. I want it to be comprehensive. I actually think it's a good thing for Judge Kavanaugh. I think it's actually a good thing, not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Now, with that being said, I'd like it to go quickly. Democrats are skeptical. Distrust and verify. We need an official document from the White House, made public, so the whole country knows what the scope is. But the majority leader insists the vote will be taken this week. The time for endless delay and obstruction has come to a close. Judge Kavanaugh's nomination is out of committee. We're considering it here on the floor. And Mr. President, we'll be voting this week. And the man who precipitated the FBI investigation? Well, he insists it must be more than just an empty gesture to protect the politicians. We certainly want the FBI to do a real investigation, and uh, we are working to make sure that that happens. It does no good to have an investigation that just gives us more cover. Now, tonight, the New York Times is reporting on a bar fight involving Kavanaugh at a tavern in New Haven, Connecticut, during his junior year at Yale in 1985. Kavanaugh and four other young men were reportedly questioned by the local police, but not charged. Kavanaugh's classmate, Chad Luddington, whom we mentioned in our report just now, told the Times that after heavy drinking, things got tense, and Kavanaugh responded to a semi-hostile remark, not by defusing the situation, but by throwing his beer in the man's face which started the brawl.